All right, example three. Why are both the T, uh, the Z and T statistic affected by N, while Cohen's D and Hedges G are not? Then, what do the Z, T, D, and G all have in common? And then finally, what commonality does Z and D share? And what commonality does T and G share? Well, I'm going to draw this as sort of a Venn diagram. So let me draw Z here. And here I'll draw T, right? And then, let's see, here I'll draw uh, D. And it's going to get crazy. Here I'll draw G. All right. Now, if it helps, you might want to think about what these guys mean over uh, the actual population standard deviation, over the, oh, actually, it's over um, the standard error derived from the population standard deviation. And here we have standard error derived from the uh, derived from the estimated population standard deviation. Whereas in D, we have, sorry for this, makes our picture even crazier. Okay. For D, we have uh, the distance, same distance. Here, just divided by uh, sigma. And here, we have the dis same distance divided by S. Okay. So why are both the Z and T statistic affected by N, while Cohen's D and Hedges G are not? Well, the thing that these two have in common is that these are about standard error, right? And standard error is either sigma divided by square root of N, or, or, I wish this was bigger, or S divided by square root of N. Right? And it's this dividing by square root of n that makes these two so affected by uh, n. Right? And so it's really because they are distances in terms of standard error. So what do the d, t, uh, z, t, d, and g all have in common? So that's, so that's this little guy right here. What do they all have in common? Well, they all have this thing in common, right? So they're all about the distance, distance between sample and population, right? So it's all about that distance. Um, some of them are in terms of standard error, and some of them are in terms of population standard deviation. So what commonality does Z and D share? Well, that's going to be right in here, right? So what do they have in common? They both rely on actually having sigma. T and G both rely only on the sample's uh, estimate of the population standard deviation. So looks a little messy, but hopefully this makes a little more sense. All right. Thanks for using educator.com for effect size and power.